All right, so here we go. Losers finals. Eduardo versus Ricky, the run back from winner's semis. And Falco versus Rosalina. Uh, no secret whose favor this matchup is. Yep, in the tier wars, Rosalina definitely wins. Yep. All right. And I think Eduardo is going to be hard pressed to find a way past Luma. Yeah, I, I'm not sure how. Okay, it's I think shielding. we might have some. Uh, okay, I think this isn't real. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. I have the charger. Be right back. Okay, so we have a brief intermission because his controller is being a little wonky because there's because it's low on battery. But Camel is going to get a charger, so we are good. Right. That was just a uh, serious hand warmer. I uh, should probably just uh, hold B and go out of it and then re-enter it. Make sure that uh, Eduardo's player won. Some wonky stuff happening, trying what? to go back. Wait, what on earth? I guess just back out, yeah. What is going on? Does anyone have a pro controller that's still synced to the stream station? This is off, right? Yeah. That's a that's a Wii remote connected to a. Uh, Technical difficulties here. Finally, be getting started here. Yep. Okay, so after after all that, now we're getting into losers finals. Uh, Eduardo against his, like his controller is working there. Eduardo against his brother Erky. And that controller change coming in clutch. Oh, no. Okay, he had a jump, so he should be fine. Okay, good. No, no pineapple here. Still respecting uh, Rosa's range. As he should. Okay. Ooh. If only you could take Luma and just throw her. Just, like, grab Luma. His, his back air might come in handy for oh, getting dude. rid of Luma. Yeah, Falco's back air is nutty. Falco's back air might be the best thing about him. It comes out so quick. Good kill option. Yep. It's a uh, wolf's back here from Brawl. Mm. Oh boy. Okay, pretty good angle right there to land on this natural platform. And just a slow, methodical game right now. Just yep. trying to feel each Rosa other. Rosa has out. the lead again. But Eduardo is still content to sit back. Good. Phantasm is through. And I think up there is probably where Falco wants Rosa. If he can get some juggle going. Uh oh. Alright, try to stage spike him. Ooh. And wow. Good high recovery. Yep. Getting some damage off of it. Okay. And Eduardo's Falco actually looking really clean right now. Gets rid of Luma. Okay, now he needs to take advantage of this. Maybe get a kill. But he is at a disadvantage position right now. And he's about to get Luma back, so. 
He's going yep. for those up airs, but if he wants to finish Rosa, he might want to be looking for the back airs. Absolutely. All right. Not a good. He doesn't have a jump and that lands right way. into the up smash. So that's going to be the first stop. Medium hitbox with Luma. And they're just laughing, having a good mm -hmm. time, though. Well, this happens all the time back right. in the house. Looked like Eduardo might have been looking for the footstool. Alright, tried to go for the roll read right there. And Eduardo getting a little antsy right now. Oh, Ooh. good air dodge right there. That up air might have taken it. Tries to short hop over Luma. Uh-oh. Okay, just goes <laughs> right over. Him. Oh, should have back air. That was a perfect opportunity to get a back air. That would have definitely taken out the stock. But yeah, it seemed like he was looking for the tomahawk. Yep, and uh, again. Back off stage. Tries to go for the Sakurai combo. He hasn't been having too much trouble getting back on. Dash attack? Nope. Eventually, his moves are going to kill. Especially with this rage. Oh, no. All right. And the Ooh. up tilt, and 2-0. Ricky will take it with a two-stock. Now, that game definitely started out very even, but then Eduardo lost his first stock, and just he just couldn't find his footing after that, couldn't net that first kill. But let's see if we'll see a character switch. Definitely. Corrin's pen might help him get past Luma. Oh, yeah. The, the, Almost anything is better than playing um, Balco. Balco, right? Yeah. You too? Um, okay, maybe one. Looks like he's going to opt for Mark. Okay. It's the same thing we saw earlier uh, on Winner's side. So let's go to FD. They're both going to try to juggle each other and take advantage of no platforms. Okay, and Eduardo making it look like Luma doesn't exist. Yep. What? Oh, up smash. And uh, Ricky just getting all these smash attacks to go. And Marth doesn't have any true combos out of up air, I mean up throw, so he should opt for a down throw if he wants a 50 50 combo situation. Alright, let's go for the up smash. Oh. It's twice that situation. That's basically happened. the same exact situation. <laughs> Mirrored. Ooh, got rid of Luma. And Can he do something with it? Not when he's at this position. And that was a really bad space from the fair right there. And all this time he's spending trying to recover is time that Luma. Oh, right. oh the, Ooh, tipper! the tipper! The tipper F smash! Great spacing. That was amazing. That was immaculate by it. Oh! Ooh. Oh! And he gets Knows the roll him too well. <laughs> Ricky wrote this man's whole life <laughs> in that play right there. Shield games. And really hard to get uh, combos going on Rosalina with Luma there to intercept it. Might be best to focus Luma so he can get good hits uh -oh. on good weight. Oh no. And that Ooh. is it. Oh, it was the miss input. He I think he side beat instead of because I heard the I heard him Luma shot. <laughs> and uh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, definitely doesn't want a Luma shot while he's down there. But regardless, uh, Eduardo will take it, That's takes that to the bank and get on the board here. It's going to even it up 1-1. One, one. Yep. This is still best of five, so might have a long road. Yes, absolutely. All right, so town and city. Can definitely see this working out for Rosalina. Yes, we're very be seeing the up tilt, up airs, and all that shield pressure. Okay, just calling him out. Okay, the back airs. The bear is not fair. He's trying to cover a lot of options with this forward smash. Okay, Randy Dolphin Slash doesn't get punished for it though. Oh no, don't get stretchered. 
that's so that's so hard nope. to get around right there. Shields <laughs> no all shield of it. break. Nope. Oh my goodness! You might see the shield break. And he's not being very mindful of that small shield. Oh my god, the tipper! Big damage. Just trying to get Luma out of here. Oh no, that air dodge was not. Air dodge. Yep. Bad air dodge right there. And first stock goes to Ricky. And see, this is the problem with Eduardo. When he, whenever he loses the first stock, he gets really, really antsy. And I think that was a tipper. That yes. definitely would have killed. But unfortunately, does not get it. He's power shielding these forward smashes now. Perhaps. He's getting him all the punishes. And he's still carrying momentum. And this is not looking good. Town and, and city. Yep. His counter pick helping him out there. And Ricky quickly takes game three. And takes a 2-1 lead in the set, and we are on set point for Erky. And we are on tournament game for Eduardo. All right, so let's see let's see another switch, perhaps to two link. Oh, we haven't, I haven't seen Ninja. Ninja. This man's pockets are deep. <laughs> this is the biggest pockets in the world. Mewtwo, okay. I agree with this pick. I think the back air and up air can help keep Rosalina at arm's length. Absolutely. Down tilt, of course. And he goes to Battlefield. Uh, Mewtwo's pretty light, so this stage will help him live longer. Right. And while he's light, he's also, he's a bit heavier. He is heavier than Rosalina, so, oh, really? yeah. Rosalina, I'm pretty sure, is might be is definitely top five for lightest characters. Jigglypuff definitely at the top of the list. Absolutely. I don't like how he's already using the uh, up throw. Yeah, no, you don't want to stale it. Uh, right. Mewtwo doesn't really have uh, combo throws, any guaranteed combos out of throws, but he you has put yourself in an advantageous position. Oh yeah. The, uh, down throw. Oh my or goodness! That kill! It out. Wow! The knockback on that forward smash was crazy, and Eduardo is going to take the first stock. Oh, no. This is not where he wants to be, though. For what I've seen as Mewtwo, he plays really well from the corner. Oh, no. Oh, Dang. Caught him with the down air. Yeah, he, ha yeah, he can play well from the corner because he has a amazing projectile in his neutral beat, the shadow balls. Right, good range with the down tilt. Absolutely. Especially on Battlefield with these platforms kind of covering some aerial options. Yep. I don't agree with all these uh, smash attacks that Eduardo is throwing out, though. He needs to calm down a little, go for more guaranteed stuff. Right. So, like, he went, he went, got, I think it was dash attack and tried to up smash. A better thing would be, there we go, forward air. Forward, forward air chain's going right. But I don't think Rosalina's weight is conducive to more than one forward air. Okay, that's just the ups right there. Mewtwo's fair is low-key kind of busted. Yeah, it's, it, it's like Sheik's fair, except it kills. Yeah, <laughs> comes out so fast. Good shield pressure, too. Okay. And using the range on that up air. All right, once another forward smash. This is dead even. Ooh. What the heck? What is that no hitbox? And there it is. Um, kind of did not tech, just kind of laid there and let the up smash rock. But regardless, Ricky takes it and moves on to Grand Finals. 